Aaron, thank you. Let's talk more about safety precautions at our local schools and the work being done to keep your students safe. Paul Abitanozzi, the Senior Director for School Services in St. John's County, joins us this morning live. We appreciate you coming on, certainly on, on short notice, Paul. We've had this conversation before. Sadly, we have to have it again. What are the safety measures specifically in St. John's County that are in place right now because uh, the threat is always out there? Yeah, well, thank you for having me. Um, and, and certainly it's a, you know, we've, we've talked before about this when something occurs of this nature, regardless if it's in, the, in your county, in your state, across the country, we certainly feel it in all of our, our, our school systems. Um, you know, safety and security has always been a top priority for us in St. John's County. It will remain to be that. Um, you know, we, we continue to enhance our emergency operations plans. We, you know, we're so grateful for the relationship we have with local law enforcement agencies in our county where we do have an officer in every school. Um, you will see um, throughout the remainder of our school year, we will have an incre increased presence at our sites and around our areas. We've had conversations with the Sheriff's Department. Uh, Mr. Forson, the superintendent, uh, has a message going out to parents uh, and families as we speak. But again, with regards to our uh, safety measures, you know, we've spent a lot of time over the past years enhancing our hardening projects at our schools, focusing on single point of entry. We have security strategies, um, everything from the fence all the way into the building strategies with, with our staff members, our lockdown drills, um, everything to continue to promote um, keeping kids aware, keeping children safe. Um, and one of the bigger pieces we also talk a lot about is um, we just continue to build relationships with students and families. You know, some of the best means for us to get information is um, working with our students. We, we get a lot of information from our students and, and it heads off a lot of pieces. So, you know, we're going to continue to do that again and, and focus on our operations plans uh, as, as we continue to move forward. Yeah, Paul, you pointed it out. So single point of entry. So students, parents and visitors go in and out through one door. You've got security through the St. John's County Sheriff's Office, a deputy there. You can have all the security in the world. Uh, but really, we have to look out for these red flags. And that's what you're talking about right there. It's the students. It's the parents. They are a lot of times the first line of defense when, when something just doesn't seem right with somebody. Yeah, I, I completely agree with that. And, and, you know, earlier on the news show, you saw a piece with Fortify Florida. I mean, we are, we are a big supporter of Fortify Florida. You know, it gives parents and students an opportunity to report <laughs> Uh, information to us 24 seven. It doesn't have to be during the school day. It can be anonymous if, if someone chooses to do that. So just the ability for us to collect information, you know, we, we've grown a lot um, post the Parkland tragedy with threat assessment teams at our schools and things to that nature. So we're gonna continue to, to do that. Um, but just that, that relationship piece where, where students feel connected to an adult, where they can share information uh, families f can contact us is very, very important. Uh, and again, you know, we do risk assessments at our sites mm -hmm. annually. We're actually working through those pieces right now. So um, we continue to enhance the, the, the physical safety pieces balanced with, again, the building those relationships and working that side of it. And I, and I can't stress again how grateful we are for the relationship with our local law enforcement agencies. Um, it's it's such a you know a blessing to work with them and you know you won't see agencies anywhere else that are as as kid friendly and 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 the efforts they put forth working with the students and families that yeah. we have in St. Louis. Paul, we have great administrators, we have great resource deputies here in our area, and we appreciate your time. Thank you for coming on, representing the St. John's County School District. Certainly, we don't want to see this anywhere in our area or or anywhere across the country or in the world for that matter. And and we hope that changes are made. Thank you. For yeah, your thank time. you very much. And we certainly, um, you know, our hearts and, and thoughts and prayers go out to the folks uh, out in Texas. It's just, you know, again, it, even though it's not in our backyard, it's certainly something we feel across the country. And um, yeah, just a just a terrible tragedy. Mm -hmm. Truly heartbreaking.